saying, Jesus saves. But what does Jesus save you out of? Out of sin, right? Well, one of the things that I think is a word that is not popular today at all, but it was John the Baptist's whole message. It was repent. People don't like to hear that. In fact, you know, that's that's their image of the church. So think about it. We're not asking you to go from something good to something bad. We're asking you to go from something bad that's hurting you, that's hurting those around you, and then turning your, your relationship with God to something good. Soul satisfaction, peace. So I want to challenge you right here, right now. A lot of times people just pray that little prayer and they're like, yeah, yeah, Jesus, me, you and me are good. And then, and then just keep going back to the same old thing. Back to the same porn. Back to the same sack of weed. Back to the same cigarette. Back to the same, you name it. Addiction, online gambling, whatever it is. They keep back to the same girl. So what I want to challenge you to do is to move from sin. To literally step out of that bondage. One and done. Once and for all. 32 years ago, I had a choice. I was almost 18. And this was my 14th time I was praying the sinner's prayer. I could have gone back to the same girlfriend. Could have gone back to the same drugs, the same drug friends, the same everything. But I was fed up. You gotta be fed up. You gotta get up, you gotta stand up, and you gotta start moving in the right direction. So what if today was the day of your breakthrough? That one thing that you've been struggling with, that one thing that you know the skeleton in your closet. What if that what if today was the day when you say, sin no more? No more justification. No more uh, just one more. What are some of the lies? No one else will know. This will be the last time. God didn't really say that, did he? There are other people that are worse than me. What are those lies that Satan is telling you? Sin no more. That's what he said to the woman caught in adultery. Sin no more. What if you just put on your big boy pants? Actually stood up and, and just said, from here on out, that's it. I'm mad at sin. I'm fighting. I'm, I'm going to be a rebel against the world and against sin. I'm not going to rebel against God anymore. I'm going to sin no more. It's a solution to so many of your problems. And so many of your problems are caused by you sinning once more. So sin no more. That's it. It's as simple as that. Jesus, I just pray right now for every single struggle that is in the audience, whatever it is. It could go from nicotine all the way up to a crack pipe, Father God. It could be everything from pornography to prostitution. From lust, extramarital affair. Father God, whatever it is, adultery. Father God, we pray that you give us the power, the strength. We cannot do it on our own. Your power is made perfect in our weakness. Help us to sin no more. To be done with this, Father God. To be victorious.